We're learning to be tool safe. Watch this video to find out the safety guidelines for this equipment. Today we will learn the safe and proper use of a simple but important piece of equipment often overlooked in landscape, construction, and maintenance. The common wheelbarrow. Before you begin, you need to use CSA approved safety boots. You will be dealing with potentially heavy loads, sharp objects, or slippery conditions. Before using the common wheelbarrow, you must perform an equipment check, understand the load capacity, and proper lifting and moving techniques. Wheelbarrows are an assembly of parts. All handles, braces, and bumpers should be in place and fastened tightly. There should be no missing screws or nuts or bolts. Tires should be checked for correct air pressure. Manufacturer's recommendations are on the sidewall of each tire. Most common wheelbarrows have a capacity of three or four cubic feet. However, as we will learn today, most wheelbarrows should not be filled to capacity due to possibility of overload and or possibly poor ground conditions. There are four common checkpoints for today's lesson on wheelbarrow use. Point one, orientation. Point two, loading. Point three, transport. And point four, unloading. Orientation refers to setting the wheelbarrow toward the direction of intended travel when loaded. It is safer and more efficient to move the wheelbarrow toward the destination rather than turn it around backwards and then move towards the destination. Loading the wheelbarrow should be done in a manner that the load is placed in the center until sufficient material can be transported. When placed in the center, the load will tend to spread itself creating a more balanced load. Material should not be thrown into the wheelbarrow as it may cause the wheelbarrow to tip over. Transport of material will require the user to bend at the knees and lift the wheelbarrow handles high enough to a horizontal level position if possible. This will assist in smooth and efficient transport. If lifted too high, the bumper may cause the unit to stop or tip forward spilling the load. As with all physical load movement, bending at the knees, keeping back straight, and using the body to raise the load is strongly recommended. When transporting towards its destination, the pathway should be as clear as possible from any objects that may cause the user to change course. In addition, if an elevation change is required, such as hopping a curb, it is recommended that a long ramp be put in place to achieve smooth and easy transport. This can be as simple as using a piece of plywood or a wide plank to assist in transport. When unloading the wheelbarrow, it is advised that the load be pointed towards the intended drop-off point. To achieve this, since the user, wheelbarrow, and load have momentum, the user should stop short of the drop-off point and use the momentum and gravity to tip the wheelbarrow into a vertical position. The load will empty out from the wheelbarrow. However, to ensure that all material is out, the user should use both handles and shake the unit in its vertical position to empty out the wheelbarrow completely. To avoid early corrosion, clean up the wheelbarrow's tube, wheels, and frame after completing your job. Whenever possible, wash out the wheelbarrow after use to get ready for the next day. Also, remember to stay hydrated and take more breaks when doing physical labor if the weather is hot. Let's do our tool safe review. Start filling the load from the center of the tub. Spread load evenly, don't overload. Point your wheelbarrow forward to where it's going before loading. Lift with knees bent and back straight at all times. Dump the load from the front rather than the sides using momentum from pushing. Inspect the wheelbarrow regularly so it does not break apart when you least expect it. And if you're not sure about anything for safety, ask your teacher for more direction. And don't forget to be tool safe.